Hey everyone, Jason here. With Hotfix 80, Dark and Darker introduced randomization to both Goblin Caves and Ruins. I love randomization, I think it's sick, but I see a few problems with this implementation. Mainly, it kind of removes the risk reward balance for doing both bosses and encourages rat like behavior where you just wait around for other people to do the bosses for you. It's kind of lame. Now, before Hotfix 80, Goblin Caves and Ruins had a consistent dungeon layout. You always knew where the bosses were and the loot rooms between them. With continuous dungeons in Early Wipe, players would all fight for this loot. It was a bloodbath. You'd always have people waiting for you to finish the boss, and then more people spawning in. Now, for being completely honest, some bosses were worth fighting more than others, particularly Cave Troll and Spectral Knight, who offer materials for crafting gold storage. There's Cyclops, who offers material for crafted gear, and Banshee, who currently offers nothing. But the center loot room was always an incentive to go above and beyond to complete both bosses. After completing one of the bosses, you would check the center loot room door to see if the other boss had been completed. If so, you knew there was a high chance for PvP in the center loot room. Otherwise, you could decide whether to do the other boss yourself. Now the benefit to this interconnected center loot room is that the other boss isn't too far away. Players knew that the boss was either vertically or diagonally across from them. The center loot room would offer gold ore in goblin caves and ruby silver in ruins. And in HR, you'd have a chance for unique. How the random generation currently works is it'll spawn the boss modules and the dual boss loot room independent of each other. Maybe Iron Mist just wanted to increase the scarcity of gold and ruby silver. But like, come on, you have boss rooms on one side of the map, loot room on the other side of the map, fog of war to hide all this stuff from you, and you're wandering aimlessly looking for this stuff. You don't have enough time to actually do all this. Simplest solution, I had more time, but that might just increase server costs and it doesn't really get rid of the ratting issue. It's not currently an issue since it's late wipe. Most people already have all the gold and ruby silver ore they could possibly want, but I definitely see the scarcity of gold ore next wipe. I've seen a few solutions floating out there. The one I'm most partial to is those requiring boss buffs and you would get the boss buff by visiting the boss room after it's been killed. But sometimes you'll be lucky and other times you won't. My personal solution, put constraints on the boss modules. Just stack the bosses as they were and then position them anywhere on the map and allow for them to be freely rotated. Then slap in any other constrained modules like the tower bridge module in ruins, which is two pieces. This is already implemented in the game, so it shouldn't be too hard for the boss modules. And lastly, fill in the negative space with individual modules that don't depend on other things. This solves the issue with running out of time, wandering aimlessly, but more importantly, it solves the rat issue, which I feel is just bad game design. Really makes you think though, doesn't it? How many possible maps are there and why stop at a five x five? But what do you guys think? In any case, that's all I have for now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.